Hello, Texacana! It's Taco Tuesday meets Cinco de Mayo! We have, it's 5, uh, May 5th, 2020, and it's about 10.51 p.m. And I'm just checking in with you, uh, checking back in with you to let you know how my Cinco de Mayo and Taco Tuesday went. I pretty much went all day uh, plotting on some tacos. So, of course, I had to go to the store and get myself some tacos. Like, oh, my God. I'm just letting you know that um, my stepdad, I got the stuff, my stepdad made the tacos, and they were on point. So, yes, that was great. <laughs> Thank God for those tacos. Then I took the uh, the leftovers home, and I'll probably be eating them tomorrow, you know? But, you know, I got some pictures. I put a post on Facebook if you're interested in to see my three little tacos that I had and and you know see exactly what I've got going on and it was delicious you know some good old homemade tacos it gets no better than that it don't matter if you're a taco tico taco bell taco cabana enchilada um um Taco Bueno, um, Good Taco, it doesn't matter, you know, a taco truck, nothing like, you know, linking up with your family to have some tacos and um, some beer, you know, and that's exactly what I did, I definitely, I mean, I, I still got the beer, I mean, I'll probably drink that before I go to bed, you know, nothing like drinking a beer before you go to sleep, it will definitely keep you there, um, hopefully. Uh, got home, kind of took a nap, crashed a little bit. Um, Tuesday nights usually is my go to the movie night. So, and Sonic. I usually go to Sonic on Tuesdays. Uh, Sonic is like half off uh, burger night. So, grab yourself a burger. And in this case, burger and a beer. And then go to the $5 movie night. And you got it. You're in there. Oh, and pop it. Whew. Yeah. And then, you know, it's a it's a nice night. Like, it's a full moon out. So, it is like, it's not high at all. Like, you should get some pretty good sleep. Especially if you celebrated, enjoyed some Taco Tuesday, you know. And... If you like pina coladas, Cinco de Mayo. And i just been sitting there and I've been peeping. I went to Walmart today, uh, the one on Arkansas side, you know, you may have seen me. And it was jumping. I was like, man, them thick leggings was out there, you know. Everybody was there. Everybody was in the moment. Um, like, what can I say other than thank you, um, Thank you for being a friend for all of those thick, lovely women. I mean, it, it seemed like they were kind of price gouging on the um, on the meat there. Uh, I went in there just uh, like I say, if you go in a taco, you gotta have uh, freaking uh, beef to cook the tacos with. So yeah, um, I don't know. I could have swore the the beef was like cheaper uh, for about a pound. Maybe, I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Adverse effects of something else. Who, who can really say? Maybe I'm wrong and maybe they're right. Uh, it's really just, you really don't know at this point in the game. So, I, uh, you know, after, if I go to Walmart, I, I just, it's like an automatic of me being in there for like an hour. So, I go off in Walmart. <sighs> I'll be there for like an hour, excuse me. And part of that, it didn't like, I guess I went at the right time. I, I went there, I was there from around three to four today. And I, I you know, I swear that y'all was there. You know what I'm saying? You're like, you knew to be there for me. Oh my gosh. Like, I saw some, oh man, some of the thickest girls in Texas Canada was in there today. So, if you know you was in there while I was in there, hey, you blessed. Most of you, anyway. But then I came across some, 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 a whiff, and I was like, man, 
uh, I don't know. I think I seen like a drifter in there, and uh, yeah, he was just musty. You know what I'm saying? Because I did. I went through like almost every section, other than like that that far back off section where guns and automotives and stuff is. I never really have a reason to go that far back there, especially on the Arkansas side. But I, I went through um, the you know I, I did like a little little kind of like a circle or whatever you know because. Just checking it out, you know what I'm saying? Like the uh, the girls that work there. Oh man, y'all are just just so nice, you know, just just so nice. And then um, like the girls that was in there, they was like, I don't know if they're in there stealing, you know what I'm saying? They just be stealing at Walmart, which I wouldn't recommend it. There's a lot of better ways to get down. <laughs> I never understand what 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 um what they thought when they put out the self check, you know. I remember I was out in Houston and like self check was like booming. Like me nowadays, I prefer to go through a line with a cashier because that's like I feel like why if if you're gonna trip on me accidentally taking something, you know what I'm saying? Then uh, I might as well just let you do your job, you know what I'm saying? And um, be happy that I'm coming to you. This is this is the thing I'm gonna say to any cashier out there, especially the ones that has a store that has a self check, like Walmart, um, and Albertsons, and hell, yeah, pretty much everybody nowadays got self check. If you work at a store with self check, you should be extra, extra, extra happy as a cashier for a customer to come through your line and allow you to uh, service them because the self-check thing, it can do just what you do, you know what I'm saying? Without the hassle, without the fuss, without the frown, you know what I'm saying? Like, the reason I'm coming through to you is because I assume that I'm going to get a high and a buy and a smile and a, the best customer service ever, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to be like super friendly and I'm going to get that whole human interaction going, you know? Like, you, you might make my day. You just don't know it, hell. I mean, like, if cashiers could get tips, I'm pretty sure there's people out there that would tip y'all, you know? Like, I've heard stories, you know? And I'm talking about, like, uh, you chopping it up, and then, boom, next thing you know, they trying to slide you $10, $20 on the low, which, you know, I know the stories, and that could lead to you turning getting terminated. But you know, on the other side of that, you know, hey, I know working in restaurants, if someone wants to tip you, they can. Just it just depends, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, if uh, you can get away with it, go for it. I just feel like self check is dumb, and at least I know it don't matter what time day or not you go in there. Uh, the register he sell tobacco on is going to be open, so hey, <laughs> good. That's what I would say. It's, it's like the first of the month, so you know, like, people got them checks, people got the income tax money, you know, so some people, like, they, they, they can't wait. They already, it's spent before they ever get it, you know, it's like, uh, as soon as I get some money, I'm a uh, 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 you know, as soon as I get some money, I'm going to spend it. I'm going to spend it. I already got it all planned out. I already know that I need this and I need that. I mean, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But, dang. <laughs> no faster than they give you the money that y'all already rush it back to, uh, to, to throw a burden, throw it away. It, it is what it is, you know. Like right now, I hear females out there feeding to get their nails done, feeding to get their toes done, feeding to get their hair done. You know what I'm saying? Just feeding. And like we we pass by the beauty supply store by Holiday Bowl, and I didn't even know that it existed. You know, uh, I think I'm gonna have to start like creeping by there now because that seemed like the the spot everybody going to. Between there and the one in Oakland Village, you just never know exactly what you're gonna get, you know? Like, that's where it's at. Like, fellas, if you wanna meet a, a, a female, and this, this is like post or, or pre 
uh, beautification or whatever, you're going to catch her while she rough. You still got a chance. You know what I'm saying? You still got a chance before she put the hair on and start thinking like, ooh, she the shit. So, like, ooh, look at me. So, if you, if you, you catch her before, you know, and she, she becomes, oh, uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears or uh, Rapunzel let down my hair, you know what I'm saying? You catch her before she turns her transformation and becomes Rapunzel, then are you good? You might have a chance. But as soon as she Rapunzel let down your hair, oh man, she got some braids in, and all right, and they only gonna last for about a week. So that means by the next week or whatever, she gonna be needing some more. And then you know, like some people change their hair like every week, you know, let alone every other week. Like dang. That shit should, that shouldn't it last like a month? You know what I'm saying? Like, is that too long? I don't know. Cause I mean, even with uh, haircuts or whatever, you could, you could with us, you know, you can say so you can get a fade or whatever you get, you know, it can last up to uh, two weeks or whatever. And I mean, there's some dudes out there they they getting chopped up every week, you know, that's cool too. Hey, like, go for it. It ain't tricky if you got it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a haircut. But inflation says uh, haircuts is getting to the point where they like twenty dollars. Like seriously, imagine that you go to the barber shop and he cut you up, line you up, edge you up, fade you up. You know what I'm saying? Trim you up, chop you up. Sometimes, you up, you know what I'm saying? And when he done, you be like, how much is that? Oh, that'd be a dub. That a dub? Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, think about how much gas that is. Think about how much, uh, for the smokers, what you could have did with that smoking-wise, you know what I'm saying? And then just think about, you know, like, I really, I measure everything out in, in, in gas. And, like, I'm glad and... The gas prices are down right now because I mean, just then gas, whoo, it's we didn't come a long way and it's still, it's still going, you know, still going down, <sighs> still going down. So that's still good to see, you know, still going down. I've seen some places where gas prices is like 79 cents. I've seen the picture. Uh, it's not happening here, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't even below a dollar here yet. But one of my favorite movies is Die Hard, the first Die Hard. And if you really want to know what gas prices were back in like the 80s, and this is California gas prices, so just imagine like there's a scene where, um, it's played by uh, the guy that played Carl off of Family Matters. His name on the movie was Al. And he's leaving out of the gas station. And he's looking up at the Nakatomi Plaza building. And as it pans up, it pans past the gas prices in that scene, in that year, in that movie. And goes up. And it's like 80-something cent. You know what I'm saying? So... For you people out there who were born like in the 90s or something, um, people that graduated in the early 2000s, <clears throat> like um, right around like post Bush, you know what I'm saying? Like right before he, uh, like it was like, it went like this. It was like I was driving in 2001. So that's around the time frame I really, uh, really just started getting out there on the road. And well, I think I was driving for that. I was driving in 2000. So, like, coming into uh, like Bush's first term or whatever, before we went to war, gas prices were low, ridiculously low. Like, Bill had us good. Like, Bill Clinton had it to where if you was to leave one job, you walk out to another one and they uh, come over here and work for me. You know, um, he had unemployment rates at an all-time low. 
Then Bush came along and took it to an all-time high. Like, what, what's going on? Like, you could go in there and do nothing and just follow with the same plan that the guy before you had, and everything should work out just fine. But no. <laughs> he come in there, boom. Next thing I know, they plotted out 9-11, you know? And... I don't know. Uh, that's crazy. I, you could be a conspiracy theory and say that the government set that up and which triggered uh, gas prices to go up because we went to war and we went over there to get that oil and, you know, they had to have a legitimate reason. And I believe in this because, it, it, it I mean, when it, when it comes down to it, the demon's head doesn't care. It doesn't care how many lives it costs when it comes to the new world order or to get to become rich, to get more money, you know? So just 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 think about that. That is something to think about. Anyway, go on a couple of years later, by the time my uh get out of high school, gas prices just slowly start to increase, you know. It's not much right now, you know. At that point in time, it was like, oh man, gas prices is like at a dollar, at a dollar twenty-five ish, you know, sustaining that for a little while. Then next thing you know, overnight, oh my God, when the war was declared, it seemed, or whatever happened, I can't really pinpoint it or how it went down, but oil prices shot up and gas prices shot up. And next thing you know, we went over there and everything got all shot up. And it just seemed like, what 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 why am i paying like two something for gas now you know then that sustained for a while and over the years it went from like um around two dollars 250 ish is where it held for a while peaking out at like and we're here in texas so texas i would think has some of the lower gas prices like when, when when I say it like this people say it like and, and this is what I heard and I don't know how true it is or how, how whatever it is uh, I heard this in like a real estate class and the thing about Texas is everything's regulated like and the reason why everything's regulated cause Texas is almost still it's own freaking country you know it's like still the Texas Republican, you know? So, when when we look at, like, what's normal, price-wise, houses, gas, just anything, you know? Like, everything seems to be on the lower end, cheaper here, you know? Because we are self-regulated. We, we pretty much... We don't need... <laughs> like, we don't need uh, like what some of these other states need we don't need the assistance we assist ourselves you know like at the end of the day we are a a valuable asset to the united states of america like there are some states that are worthless (laughs) they they are worthless and when it comes down to taxing they will tax the shit out of you you know like arkansas they have taxes for everything and they're you know like you you live you live in Arkansas, you pay in that state to live there, you know what I'm saying? And that that is it's like uh, like y'all roads ain't getting fixed. Y'all, you know, like nothing's getting done. It's like it, it just a few years ago they were one of those states whose minimum wage was technically below federal standards. Like let's say that if the minimum wage was on a federal level, seven twenty-five. Theirs was like six twenty-five, or something like that. I know I remember it because I remember they had to put it up for a vote, and then it finally went up, and then now it's like um, people in Arkansas, you in Arkansas, you probably start making like ten dollars an hour, and um, you know whatever, whatever, you know. And I also remember. Um, Arkansas was pushing Proposition 4, which is like the legalization of marijuana. And now, I know that that, that passed as far as uh, 
uh, CBC, which is like the the uh, edibles and stuff, you know. So yeah, uh, you see them that pop out like everywhere, you know. Like, oh man, they used to have a thing about weed, and now they're seeing um, after all this research and all this, it does have these benefits that have uh, came to light. They're like, okay, um, the people that were boycotting us back in the day, they were wrong. They were doing it because it was affecting them as far as like, you know, uh, the paper industry and money and, you know, like I say, Family Guy, there's a whole episode about it. One of my favorite episodes, which is the uh, legalization of marijuana episode with Ryan on there and then Stewie and then they do the song, All You Need Is A Bag Of Weed. One of the funnier episodes, but not the funniest episode of Family Guy. The funniest episode of Family Guy is, and I quote, the one where it's called Patriot Games, and that's the one where Peter plays for the Patriots, and they do the song Shapoopy. And it also is, and here's why it's the funniest episode ever, not because of Shapoopy, but because what else was going on in that episode? It's the episode, or you guessed it, where Brian and Stewie, Brian owes Stewie $50, and he's coming after him, talking about where's my money. Funniest skit of all Family Guy, hands down, because it's a classic. It's, it's been around for a while, and I want to say, uh, when did that come out? I think it came out in like season four, but I don't, don't, you know, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I do know it is the funniest, the funniest, like top five, you know, like number two, if you got something else that you can really legitimately say is funnier than that. Um, I, cause there's so many, so many funny, uh, family guy episodes, but hands down, um, it's reached the point of where it's a classic. So, you know, like people, people look it up on YouTube just to, to do the, what is my money? Where's my money, man? Where's my money? You know? So, yeah. All right. This is what I want you guys to do. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, check out my description, the lo- uh, you know, the details of my description or whatever. And click on the links, see what I got, see what I'm talking about. Um, all kind of affiliate marketing stuff that's um, that's that's out there about uh, making money online and um, ways to get paid directly to PayPal and like all of that. And if you don't mind, do you do me a favor, uh, check that out and continue to listen to my podcast on a regular basis i put them out try to t- twice a day hey you know if anything i put them out as many times as i can whatever comes to mind i feel like talking and i like i say, i just kind of woke up and was like i said i was gonna do a a close out to what i talked about this morning with um cinco de mayo so if that being the case um, underlay, underlay, yeah, yeah, up, up, you know, and all of my uh, shout out to all of my Spanish cultured friends. And I hope you guys enjoyed whatever you did today and enjoy whatever dish you may have had. And I hope you had some great tacos today or whatever. And like I said, it, if this if today wasn't a good day for you, the weather for you wasn't good enough for you. I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully this whole coronavirus thing is starting to uh, wrap up and, you know, we'll we'll be back on top, getting ready to enjoy our summer. So see y'all later. Peace.